Nushad Ali was born in Yemen where it is common for girls to get married young. Her mother was married to her father when she was just 16. Nujad lived in extreme poverty. Her father, a janitor, hardly made enough money to feed his two wives and 16 kids. His wives were forced to beg on the street every day to make a couple of cents for food. Nujad was eight years old when her father announced that she was to be married to a 30-year-old Fez Ali Payne. This was because Nujad's father thought it was the best way to protect her. Fez had promised that he would not touch her until she was older. As her wedding approached, Fez forced her to quit school, the thing that made her happy. She didn't get to see her husband until after her wedding. The men and women had gotten together separately. He was a short man with a mustache and messy hair. Her life at her new home was awful. He did not keep his promise to not touch her until she was older, and he would beat her with his hands and a stick. She was constantly scared, lonely, and in pain. There was no one there to help her, even her mother-in-law pulling her hair and forcing her to work. After about a year, Fez finally said Nujad would be able to visit her family for one day. She got home and begged her parents to help her. Her father said that there was absolutely no way that she could divorce or her uncles and cousins would kill her father. Her mother simply murmured that it is what women must endure. Her last hope was to go across the street to the home of her father's second wife, Dawla. She said that if no one would listen to her, she must go to court. She gave her the 70 cents she had managed to beg that day to catch a minibus. She covered her face with her scarf and got onto the minibus and told the driver she wanted to go to court. He gave her a surprised look but took her straight there. The judge was surprised by her age and what Fez had done to her. She told them she couldn't go home or she would be beaten, and they arranged for her to stay with one of the other judges and then her uncle. In the meantime, they put her husband and father under temporary arrest. They said early on that it would be a lengthy process and she might not win. Her lawyer was Shada, one of the best female lawyers in Yemen, who was a strong fighter in, for women's rights. When the day of her divorce arrived, her father and husband were brought in by soldiers and her husband gave her a dirty look and smiled. So you're proud of yourself, hey? The court started and her husband started lying, saying that he had not touched her her at all and her father lied and said that she was 13 and not 10 since it's legal to have a sexual relationship with your husband when you have hit puberty. She was very upset and worried until the judge granted her divorce. Nujad is one of the lucky ones. It is established that there is about 51 million child brides in the world. There are many cases of young girls dying from internal bleeding from intercourse at too young of an age and childbirth. If child marriage is such a bad thing, why would it still be allowed to happen? Child marriage happens mostly in poverty-stricken countries where parents think the easiest way to get out of debt is to sell their daughters into marriage. If they do it at a young enough age where the child is still a virgin, they could make a lot more money. Even if the child is being beaten and raped by her husband, if she and her parents want a divorce, her parents must pay back the money to her husband. In most cases, the parents do not have the money to pay them back, and therefore they cannot do anything about it.